Hi guys, Lisa from Draytech Australia here. This is the second demonstrated video on the practical applications of the Draytech Vigor IPPBX 3510, version 3.5.5.3. This video is based on the presentation by Draytech Global's marketing project manager, Perelia. So again, I must credit him with the content and the visuals. Today's video will focus on the VPN and specifically the VoIP over VPN firewall aspects of the powerful router slash IPPBX integrated system. Just a bit of an overview to start with. The VIGA IPPBX 3510 can be considered the solution to replace your traditional PBX setup with its typically costly implementation and tedious settings. The main benefits of integrating your telephony and data systems with the VIGA IPPBX 3510 include one, consolidating your telephony and network requirements will reduce your management costs overall. Two, the savings gained from the use of IP telephony. Three, productivity gains from the use of PBX. Four, flexible and extendable IP extension setup. Five, uncompromising security. Vigor IP PBX 3510 supports up to 32 VPN tunnels for remote data access and voice communication security. Consider this scenario. A company has its headquarters in Sydney and a branch in Auckland. They'd like to establish an IPsec VPN land-to-land -land connection to secure data transmission between headquarters and branch. For both of these locations, we have the WAN IP and the LAN IP details, which we will use to connect the locations with an IPsec VPN. To establish this VPN connection, we go to the VPN and Remote Access Control section of the Viga IPPBX 3510's web configuration menu and click on the submenu. Remote Access Control. As I just mentioned, the company is after an IPsec VPN connection between these two locations. So here, ensure Enable IPsec VPN service has been checked. For future purposes, you may also wish to have Enable PPTP VPN service and Enable L2TP VPN service checked to, to make them available should they be required. For the IPsec VPN connection, you'll need to enter your pre-shared key and click OK. Now go to the LAN to LAN submenu in the VPN and remote access section of the web configuration menu. Here you can commence building your LAN to LAN or side to side IPsec VPN between headquarters and branch. First complete the fields for the common settings. We shall name this profile HQ. Continue through to dial out settings. Under type of server I am calling, check IPsec tunnel and enter the LA branch's WAN IP. Continue through to dial in settings. Again, make sure IPsec tunnel is checked. Enter the LA branch's WAN IP under Peer VPN Server IP. Lastly, in TCP IP network settings, you only need to enter the LA branch's LAN IP under Remote Network IP and click OK. Now the IPsec VPN connection between headquarters and LA branch office has magically been created. But there's one thing left to be registered with the Viga IPPBX 3510 all the way in headquarters to enjoy the VoIP over IP over VPN. In the IPPBX section of the web configuration menu, go to the PBX system submenu. Under SIP proxy setting, make sure the disabled registration from WAN box is unchecked and the system will automatically check limit SIP request WAN and enable ACL. You can specify the number of requests per second for the IPPBX system to accept from remote locations. From our scenario, we can gather that we probably wouldn't have more than 20 extensions from VPN remote locations. So here we'll enter 20, which should be more than enough. Now click on this Edit ACL link. ACL stands for Access Control List, and here you can plug in the remote WAN IPs of your extensions. When the bigger IPPBX 3510 re receives a request from an extension that's not on this Access Control List, also known as whitelist, it will not accept the request. Through this simple mechanism, you can protect your network from hackers. Under the IPPBX extension section of the web configuration menu, you can now set up the VoIP over VPN connection for extension number 2027. We've already established a secure IPsec VPN connection between headquarters and the LA branch, so you can check the VPN box for Allow Remote Registration. We enter 2027 as the extension number we wish to set up the VoIP over VPN connection for, and the name of the extension owner in the display name, which in this case would be Terry Hall. Uh, this is something pretty handy. Just say Terry Hall needs to establish a PPTP VPN remote dial-in connection. For example, he's at home and a work issue comes up and he needs to access the corporate database. He only needs his extension number 2027 and his three-digit password, which is set up here. 
as a PPTP remote dialing number and password to gain access to the network remotely. Okay, well that's it for today's class. Um, I know even for myself that the sound of VoIP over VPN can come across complicated and scary, but I hope I've shown you today just how easy it can be to set up on your bigger IPPVS 3510. For more information on this Draytech product and others, check out our website at www.draytech.com.au. Thanks for watching and see you next time.